Would you consider yourselves old? Yes. Yeah. Would you consider yourself gay? Oh yeah, absolutely. Have you ever done drag before? No. Kinda, sorta. Yes. I'm going to take you through the process of getting into drag while a team transforms to the drag queens. Sound good? Sure. Sure. Great, let's get started. Have you ever trimmed your body hair before? Yeah, yeah, no. You've never had someone else shave you? Last week. What? I'm a pretty hairy guy, so that's a big transformation for me. I don't know where to start. How about the pubes? You want to do my pubes? Look at my areola. The areolas are inked. Is everyone here okay shaving their facial hair? No. I've had it for 50 years. Come on. So no shaving cream. Have you ever had your face beat? Beat? Beat for the gods. Oh, yes, that kind of beat. Uh-huh. You know what that means? Yeah. She's fabulous. Getting your face beat. Do any of you have a drag name? I do. Lady Borghese. And I changed the gay to G-A-Y. Fabulous, that's me. She just called me Beyonce. So I says, oh no, it's Beyond Say. I could be Shoe Ivy. Where's the Ivy come from? Her daughter is named Blue Ivy. Who's order? Beyonce. See, that's I'll ridiculous. Does anybody else have a drag name? Rose. Rose what? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie the Grinder. Oh, that's right. I'm stuck. What kind of girl would Rosie be? A bit sassy. Won't take any flack from anybody. I have a day. Coco Bracknell. Coco is the great-granddaughter of Lady Augusta Bracknell. History lesson. Our class. And Augusta Bracknell is a character from the importance of being earnest. Mm -hmm. I have a dear name my friends used to call me, Lily Lyons. Oh. Sure, girl. You go, Lily. Yeah? Is that appropriate? Very appropriate. I think that Lily is going to be kind of a coquette. Oh, she's going to be slutty. Now, I said coquette, not cockette. Lily will kill you, so watch out. Are you familiar with any of the following drag queen's names? Amphetamine. I know her well. Lucy oh, Stowe. Don't want to know that one. Free to Free slaves. Slave. Free to slaves. <laughs> oh, you laugh at that? <laughs> Do any of you have catchphrases? What's a catchphrase? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now that's very nasal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Phil, I have a catchphrase idea for you. The slut with the stash. I was trying to be a little more demure than that. <laughs> Do I get a catchphrase from you? You gave Bill one to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. An announcer would say, get out there and strut your stuff. And I'd say, I don't strut. I grind. I and grind. I just kind of <laughs> rotate my ass around. Party. 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 Oh, she didn't seem excited. See what we said about there. white people and their party? Party. Well, you have a point. You didn't come up with a saying yet so much as a gesture. You okay? Yeah, I'm just practicing. I thought she'd pout a little bit. I to work on my pout. Bam! Bam. That was easy. Bam! 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 That's gonna be mine Bam. tonight. Tongue pop? What's a tongue pop? It's a towel size. So? This whole what? I almost sound like fish. And then there was, I. Aye! Aye! Okay, then where did Miss Banji come from? Mick does Miss Banji very well. Very Don't awesome. you, Mick? Oh, I think he's asleep. Jesse looks just like a gorgeous peach. So I'm fat? No, you're sweet and juicy. You really look evil. i <laughs> evil. She's not demure anymore, that's for sure. You go, girl. Ooh. Oh my god, it's shocking. <laughs> it's going to shaping. Tucking. It's tucking your cock and balls up to your ass so it doesn't show as a bulge. Show us. <laughs> Do you need panties? Am I gonna be showing anything? Do you want to show something? No. It definitely looks like it hurts. The guy has bubbles over his genitals. I feel kind of strange seeing it. I just do. We didn't give you the full extreme tucking. No, this I think is appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I've never felt closer. No, Ron. <laughs> Tuck? Very. Cinching. cinching. You cinch a bag. <gasps> How does that feel? Hey. Oh, cinching is getting everything tight. Oh, God, you're making a girl uh, work here. That hurts. That is a teeny ways. Painful. And a lot of it's done with tape. I think rope is just fun. <laughs> I can imagine what your bra is going to look like. Ready for your bra? Yes. 
stuffing to stuff your breasts. So we need some titties. With hips, you'll always need tits. That's nice. That's real, Liz. How are you feeling, Bill? I'm feeling great. Now you have a little body going. Yes, we do. Do any of you have specific looks you're going for? I'm a Nordstrom girl. I requested a particular type of designer. Okay. Is that too much? In drag, it's never too much. Is there a specific color you want your outfit to be? Not yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that you're I, interested in? I look good in blue. You want to get your makeup on it. That's the important thing about when you're wearing white. I know, and my nickname's Pickpin. White suggests to me virginity, which um, doesn't fit your self-image. Well, you said it. <laughs> Can I see a little shake, shake, shake? Have you ever strutted before? I strut all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to grind. Grind. Oh my God. I never was very graceful at dancing. Most women aren't. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on wigs? I What's haven't real? even thought about wig. I mean, like, it's been 40 years since I've had hair. Baptize me, baby. Oh, yes. I am scared of her. Have any of you ever worn a wig? No, I've never had a wig. Who is she? That's a woman. Are you familiar with the wig reveal? The wig reveal. Oh, showing off that you're wearing the wig. I think the first wig reveal I ever saw was in Victor Victoria. Oh shit, did that hurt you? Oh, it's just elastic. Have you ever worn heels before? Badly. I'd worry I'm gonna fall on my face. I know I'm gonna fall on my face. That's it? Are you ready for your grand reveal? I think. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Who is she? Beautiful. She's fabulous. <laughs> What's her name? Phyllis Diller. <laughs> It's been a fun-filled day of hanging with these guys and all of us learning. Our girls are done! I have a much greater appreciation for drag. The costume, the makeup, the hair all come together. It takes time and it's work. My thoughts and feelings, this may hurt. Oh, sorry. But it's fun. You say drag! Thank you. Work it, girl!